In this example, we're given an augmented matrix, and we want to find the corresponding system of linear equations for this matrix. Now, this isn't as hard as it may seem. We just have to break down the definitions for matrices, what each row and column represents, and then go ahead and write our system of linear equations. So if we look at the number of rows, we have one, two, three rows. This tells us that the number of rows equals the number of rows equals the number of equations, right? So we know that since this augmented matrix has three rows, we're going to need three equations. Now, if we look at the number of columns, we have one, two, three columns. And since this is an augmented matrix, the column that is on the right side of this dashed line here represents the right-hand side of each of the equations. So if we look at just the left side of the dashed line, we have two columns. And since we have two columns here, we're going to need two unknown variables because the number of columns on the left side of the dashed line in an augmented matrix represents the number of unknown variables. So we can choose any set of characters that we want to represent the unknown variables. I'll just go ahead and choose X and Y. So since we know we have three equations, I'll write the equation numbers here, one, two, and three. And since this is an augmented matrix, we know that this column right here represents all the constants on the right-hand side of each one of these three equations. So the right-hand side for equation one is gonna be two, which corresponds to this number right here in the matrix. The right-hand side for the second equation is gonna be zero, and the right-hand side for the third equation is gonna be negative one. And the left side of this augmented matrix, the left side of this dashed line, represents the coefficients of the unknown variable terms in each equation. So we know we're going to have an x and a y term in each one of these equations. And now we just need to plug in the coefficients. Right, there's six numbers here, and that's gonna to correspond to the six coefficients that we plug in here. So for the first row, we have a three and a positive four. So our first equation, we figured out. It's 3x plus 4y is equal to 2. And our second row, or our second equation, are going to have these values right here, these coefficients. So it's negative 1x plus 2y, right? We have a positive 2, and that's equal to 0. So now we have our second equation. And finally, if we look at the third row, which is right here, that's going to correspond to the coefficients of the third equation. So that's going to be 3x plus 0y is equal to negative 1. So great, we have our equations, and I'm just going to simplify these three equations um, since we have some 0 terms and a negative 1 term. Our first equation is going to be 3x plus 4y is equal to 2. And then we have a negative 1x, right? Negative x plus 2y is equal to 0. And then finally, we have a 3x plus 0 is equal to negative 1. So this right here is the system of linear equations that corresponds to this augmented matrix here.